So modern panoramic photography is simple. You take out your phone or camera, scan the scene, and the software creates a panoramic image. But things weren't always that easy. You know, 35 years ago, in 1985, you needed something like this. The Fuji Panorama G617. Ugh. Firstly, this is not to be confused with the GX617, which was released in 1993 and featured interchangeable lenses and viewfinders. The G617, however, had a fixed lens, an EBC Fujinon 105mm f8, made up of four components with six elements. You know, it has a 80.3 degree field of view and takes 77 millimeter filters. But the only filter you really need is the original center ND filter, which compensates for the vignetting that occurs due to the wide angle. The camera is completely mechanical, no batteries, no electronics, no metering. Focusing distance must be measured or estimated, and the minimum focusing distance is uh, three meters, or you know, about 10 feet. It's definitely designed for landscapes. Now, you might be wondering why the distance scale has some numbers in yellow. Well, as I mentioned earlier, the camera can only focus as close as three meters. The numbers in yellow are purely there so you can properly hyperfocal distance. And if you want to see us do a video explaining how to hyperfocal, let us know down in the comments below. And while most would typically use this on a tripod, Fujifilm built handles for the occasion when one might be shooting it handheld. It's also why Fuji included two shutter releases, one on the top and one on the front. There are also two accessory shoes and a spirit level built into the bars around the lens, so you can see through the viewfinder when shooting handheld. Now, why would someone go through the trouble of using this camera in 2020? Especially when digital Fujifilm medium format options like the 50S, the 50R, or the GFX100, you'd think there'd be no point. Well, you're wrong. Because look at the size of the negatives from our video that we did with the Linhoff 617. As you can see, the negatives are huge and they're just absolutely beautiful. The negative measures 6 by 17 centimeters, giving you a massive amount of resolution that even the GFX100 can't match. For each roll of 120 film, you get four photos, just four. There's actually a film counter on the bottom that actually keeps track of the lifetime of shots on this camera. 10 actuations advances the counter by one. So this camera has taken fewer than 100 shots. Our listing for this camera also includes the original center filter, lens hood, neck strap, and a carrying case. So quite honestly, it's a gorgeous set. Well, well, let us know what you think about this camera down below. And if you could have one, would you take this or the Linhoff? Let us know down in the comments.